An absolutely fascinating example of digitalization on a campus is the Smart Campus at the Technical University of Denmark. And I'm very happy now to talk to Dorte Skoka Lund, who is the project leader there. If you were to describe the project in three sentences, Maxim, what would you say? Well, I would say giving access to students, uh, scientists, teachers, municipalities, companies to use the infrastructure in testing prototypes before implementation in, in, uh, in the cities. So, was it difficult to start that project and how long did it take you to implement it? Well, it wasn't difficult because we were investing a lot of money in, um, in new buildings and, and to upgrade the old buildings. And then uh, the head of the facility management, he said, why not give access to the whole infrastructure uh, to, to provide case-based learning. And the university can take advantage of that because perhaps later on they can implement the new solutions on the university, in the, uni in the university and, and use it as decision make making later on, perhaps within collecting data. I also read that some of the projects are in cooperation with companies. Yes. So how open are then the results of projects like these or are they under copyright? Some of them are under copyright, some of them are, are open. We very much like open innovation at the Technical University and uh, we are working on uh, making the data open and the data can be lent out as you borrow a book actually. What kind of advice would you give other universities to start a smart campus? We went uh, for a study tour to, to Finland and um, to get inspiration uh, in how to, to make an innovation hub. And, and they had this punchline, they, they said more than once, just do it. So if you want to do a smart campus, just do it and take it step by step. I think that's the only way to do it because it's all new and we don't know yet what, what it really is. So, yeah, just do it. As we've just heard, openness is part of the digital turn. If you're interested in that topic, check our interview below with the self-proclaimed edu rebel Dr. Markus Daimann of the University of Applied Science of Lübeck. You'll find the link below in the video description of this video.